All right, I have some credit to give away from Tier Zero Games. Now, if you guys want this credit, all you guys got to do is leave a comment down below. I'd like to hear what you guys would like to see from Nationals, from players. I'm only going to be there Friday and Saturday. And suggestions and videos you'd like to see while I'm away also. And like this video. And then come back next Tuesday on Marco Watch, and I will have the winner announced. So leave a productive comment down below, things you'd like to see from either of those, and I'll see what I can do. But I hope you guys enjoy another interesting credit giveaway, and always remember, enter What's Good 5 on checkout, and you'll save a little bit of money from Tier Zero Games. So let's dig on into this Mark Watch, shall we? Remember everybody, like I said, Tier Zero credit, leave a comment down below, and tell me what you guys want to see from Nats, or other things you want to see on this channel, and, you know, like this video, and you can get entered in for that credit that will be announced next Tuesday. So, what's going on in the market today? So we have 5% kickback on everything site-wide you fucking need it you got it we have magical merchant buyout from champion pack five uh coming in at 274 dollars yikes metamorphosis straight 400 smackaroos just boom so much money if you're a goat rare or max ready goat rare player Magician of Fates from Champion Pack 2 also at an all-time expensive high at $200. I feel really bad for you if you're a collector right now because this is ridiculous. And next up we have Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames, Ultimate Rare. So, near mint, 300 bucks. I hope you got the money. You too could probably acquire one. Haman, Lord of Searing Flame. Also $200. Amazingly, these aren't that bad off. And we have Raviel, Lord of Phantasms. This guy is coming in at $250. I like how Raviel's the most expensive one out of all of these. Uh, ooh, Supreme Arcanite Magician. Uh, regular copy is $25 bought out. And then the new one, the Ultimate Rare, the better looking version, is at $21. Another fantastic buyout. Thank you, Internet. I love it every single time. Uh, Buster Bladers, DTPs, $15. Uh, but we are here for Feral Servant First Edition. Oh, the Clen de la Clen. I love the best of the best. Ah, Yugi Boy would be so proud of me and my Max Rarity cards. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, man. We have some, like, destroyed copies here. Um, so, why are there ten pages of Buster Bladers? Oh, man. Hello? First Eds? Light plays are 50 bucks. Near mints are a hundred dollars. Holy shit. Boot Sector launch, coming off of that Link 4, or Link 1 that we're not getting for a very long time. Still holding the price at five dollars, but we continue to rise here, but of course, we're at 550 for first editions. All right, congratulations, Boot Sector. Um, all copies of E-Emergency Call, Trent brought this to my attention, GTYGO, that uh, these have started going up. So, Raw Yellows, 10 bucks. Structure Decks, huh, Comments, 4 bucks. DRO4s, huh, 4 bucks. Uh, Jadens, about 250 huh, about 3 bucks after shipping. And then uh, $2, looks like. Yeah, all confirmed copies of E-Emergency Call are now $2 a piece. Let that sink in, Market Watch. We've got a lot of value being gained back here on these. Now, Young Duel has told me to come peep Evil Zors and just kind of see what's going on back here. I see not a lot of expensive. Um, Evil Zor, Serato, though. This is your more inclined ulti. Uh, at least in terms of value on the secondary. Um, man, first editions are five bucks, and that's literally cool. First eds were bought out of these. We have one on the market. Huh, that's interesting. Uh, Ulti Dragoons are sitting at $77 today. Meanwhile, regular copies are about four bucks, depending on what you're trying to do. Uh, Fiendish Chain Ultimates. Huh. Telche Kel or Tefoshle de Kelch. God, I'm terrible at pronouncing names. Kete. Fallen Carte. Huh, it looks bad. Um, but yeah, these are a decent price right now, actually. Kind of shocking. Near Mint's 19 bucks. I mean, considering 
all things have kind of come out of these. Trisha is 47s. MST is still $57. Uh, still a decent amount of money in this set. Hmm. Secret Rescue Rabbit. First edition. All right, cool. So none on the first page. None on the second page. Uh, I saw like 13 bucks there. Yeah, looking about 13 That's not bad. Obelisk the Tormentor. So I just want to point out something here. So there is a reprint of certain jump cards. Now, I don't know what the origin of these is. I believe they're from like Scholastic Book Fairs and stuff. Uh, Shonen Jump does a special run that comes with a card. But there is the JM JMPS series. And there's a few of these running around right now on the market. Um, I'm just going to check Obelisk here to kind of show this off. But the JMPS EN004 is $10 lowest near mint. Now, this all also follows suit with Stratos. Because I actually just recently found out that there's a JMPS version of him as well. Now, this is with like new foiling and shit. So, you know, like, take it with a grain of salt, but you see how ugh, it is to see the stars and the emblem up here being printed again. Just something I happened to see recently, but yes, those copies are $18 on the market. I can still get a Pharaoh's Tour for a decent amount, but, huh, all kinds of weird shit happening with Stratos. It's still 30 bucks for the common. And then Altis are still $43, though. But, yes, like I said, more editions of Stratos available on the market. Uh, Altergeist cards. There's that new Altergeist Link 4, and I might make a discussion on it, because we don't know the actual effect of it yet from the anime this week that was released. And I know everybody's lost their fucking mind over an Altergeist Link 4. But, guys, come on. But Altergeist cards are extremely cheap right now. Starfoil Kungurdis, still like 5 bucks. Yeah, this shit is fucking cheap. Yikes. Alright, cool. So, cheap Yu-Gi-Oh cards for Altergeist. Charcoal and Pachi. This man's... I hope he's buying this card out every single week, because this is entertaining to watch. Cool. Light plays on the market for $15 a piece. I don't get it, and I'm not going to get it, but... Man, oh man. <laughs> I do want to check this, though, really fast. I bet this is still inflated. Uh, we're down to 150. <laughs> it's not good. Near Mint's 165. If this card ever comes off the list, holy shit. Fortress Whale is $405 today. I'm totally taking out a car loan for that. The Venomanaga Secret Rare from Tav. Oh, man. Hey, $300 is now cheapest. Light Play, 290 But you can get that PSA graded. You know how bad you want that, right? For a $1,000. Uh, next up... Actually, this is fucking hilarious to me. So we got a Gladiator Beast buyout happening right now because we have suspicion about new cards floating around on the secondary market. But lowest Gladiator Beast is $100. I'll uh, show this off in a second for you guys here. All right, so this is basically what we got here. This just kind of randomly showed up on the internet. Uh, you got this little stand here. People were starting to kind of do a little bit of background on this, just out of curiosity to see what was going on here. And people have come to the conclusion that these are Gladiator Beast. It's like a whole breakdown in theory on this right now. But nonetheless, Gladiator Beast cards are spiking because of this. Besticles are $40. Those Heraclinos, still so much money. Octavius Man, still like 10 bucks. Nobody really cares about him. Kaisaris Battle Pack Starfoil, still $11. Uh, Sam Knight, I don't know, nobody ever really cared about him, but he's $12. Esadari, still about 2 bucks. Uh, Rediari, man, our first sets of these actually worth anything. Hello? Rediari? Hello, first dead Rediaris? Eh, 7 bucks. That's not bad, honestly. Like, I'm accepting of that. Cool. So, Ready Ari's are kind of up. Now, well, Lakari's still about five bucks. I guess that's fine. Uh, oh man. Hello, Alexandros. Uh, I see four there. Cool. We have no near mint first of him on the market. He's also from the era Spartacus? Spartacus is worth two dollars? Oh god. Torax is also worth fucking money right now. 
Cool. Torax is fifteen dollars. Cool. So yeah, Glare Beast by Al. <laughs> Fucking makes me laugh. Nerokias is also like two dollars. Purple Esadari. Actually, is money down there too. War Chariot two bucks. Huh. Cool. So uh, yeah, enjoy your Glare Beast buyout. Judgment Dragons. Those prize card ones are twenty five bucks still. Uh, how much are all these? All these like still the most expensive. I'm guessing so. Light plays sixty three there. Near mints a hundred. No thank you. Um, Zen Mighties six fifty still. Kittens uh, about five bucks. And the rest of this deck still pretty looking pretty cheap actually. Cool. Wind up stuff still pretty cheap. DNA surgeries. I don't know why this card's going through some weird buyout share right now, but. Blues are five bucks. Reds are bought out at thirty. Purples are at once this one's gone, we're up to eight. And then greens are at five bucks. Regular DNA surgeries are basically dollar, two dollars a piece. Huh. That's another weird one. Grandmaster of the Six Samurai. Really, we're buying why are six samurai cards disappearing? Cool, so twenty three on Grandmaster for Unlim. First is fifty. Are these cards actually getting bought out? What the fuck? Cool, so six samurai are disappearing off the market. Huh. 30 bucks on these. Why are we buying out six samurai? What the fuck did I miss? Still 23s on unlimbs for Xi'an. $80 for first. What the fuck? Price card Grandmasters? Starfoil, ten bucks. Kizan's nine though. Why is nothing else going up? Why is it just those three? Huh? Cool, so six samurai is going up. Archlord Christia, we follow this every single week. Uh I'll be straight honest with you guys. I think this is hilarious. That uh, these are still yeah, still sixty bucks. N no new ones have come up. Uh Harpy's Pet Dragon. So evidently there's a buyout on this right now. I don't know why. Um I believe that this is just more hilarious than anything. $150 on these. What's the Italian look like? Ooh, Dragahete Dele Arepai. Um, probably terrible at that, but... Huh. Cool. And then, of course, Blue Eye Shining Dragon bought out. The $500 copy sold, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. We're at $1,000 right now <laughs> for this. Uh, Elemental Air Tempest. Holy shit. $470. Wow, our market is dumb. Ojama Yellow DTs twenty nine dollars. Toys R Us tokens are twenty dollars today. Uh, Quick Launch is still about a three dollar card. Nothing's really changed back here with this. Uh, Destiny Hero Double Tokens uh, still like ten cents. No real movement back here in these, thankfully. Uh, Muyan Curry still bought out. LOL, I don't get it either. Uh, Dark Laws are a hundred and five dollars in holding right now. Somebody knows something that I don't know with these, and I'm kind of a little bit spooked out about this buyout, but they're holding. Screech! Uh, Screech is still holding decently, actually. All these fucking $2 for light play back there. Magic formulas. We have three listings of these, by the way. Um, let's let that sink in for a moment. Uh... 800 for German mod play, 850. Light play, $1,400, and near mint, 1500 This is literally the fucking holy grail in the collector's market right now. And I don't know why this card is so much money, but this is where the collector's market is at the moment. This and the $1,000 dragon. Uh, invoke stuff. Macabre is still 4 bucks. Regions, 4s, Purgatrios, dollars. Oh, this stuff's pretty cheap still. Uh, Met Knights. Oh, Avermax is down. Oh yeah, the unlimited printing should be out now. Oh, the purples are still five bucks. I don't see anything else here, but quick little pop into Dark Neo Storm here. Dingrisu down to forty. Gnomes back down to thirty-five for the one. Cyanets at twenty-five and holding. Uh, Sad Girl over Dead Dogs down to twenty-two. Cherubini's down to nineteen. Uh, Brotar's at ten. Excuse me, at twelve. Looks like stuff is going down a little bit. Justy's. Eight bucks. Crackdowns, twos. They're gonna finally put the nail in the head for some of this stuff. Shooting Riser Dragons at two bucks. Alright, cool. Moving on along. 
Pot of Extravaganza. Hey, these are down. On them's for 63. All right. Subterra stuff. Five dollars in Nemesis Archer. I think that's yeah, it's the most expensive card here. Uh, Hidden Cities. Uh, hey, you guys want some Hidden Cities? Uh, we're down to 18 bucks. We're in the affordable range. That's what I like to see for our secondary market. First Ed's down to 20s. Cool. Spirals. I say this every single market watch. Um, make sure you pick up your Spiral Core. It's extremely cheap. Damn, Spanish Quick Fix. Hmm. For 10 cents. That's not bad. At all, actually. Uh, Master Plan is at a whole nine cents today. Kyra Curry Ultimates. Just a quick little snapshot here. Burry is bought out, by the way. Just four listings available. Thirty bucks for near mint. Uh, my boy Burrito Man here. Uh, all right, cool. So there's like a hell of a lot of burritos. You can find so many of these on the market. Yeah, burritos like five bucks for light play. What the fuck? All right. Swap Frog is still eighty dollars today. I, I don't get it either. Norden is at fifty cents, about a dollar after shipping. Thunder and Colossus, uh, fifty-one. Galtea's forty-fives and Hayate's at thirties. And then Red Nova Dragon Ultimate, thirty-nine dollars. I don't get this. Trust me, I'm just the messenger. Twelve bucks on Webtail Barrages, eh, threes. Uh, first edge is a little bit more. Alt or Ghost MSTs. We already peeped all these up there earlier, 57s. Uh, 15s on these, okay. Uh, four Mudskipper, mark my words, this card might start getting bought out. Uh, just kind of pay attention to it. Uh, Cyberdark Dragons, uh, I see $180 there for these. Yep, 180 on these guys. Rekindling Super Rares are at $13. Chain Energies, just kind of peeping these, but I've been told to pay attention to them. We're at 25 cents currently. Uh, zombie Worlds Ultras at six dollars. Uh, marshmallows, I also don't understand this, but evidently light plays are about two bucks. Squib draws are at dollars, and then ye old metal raiders. Change of heart. First edition does not exist on our market. Wow. Thanks, Market Watch. All right, guys, that's all I got for the market today. Please leave a comment down below. Make sure you get entered in for today's credit giveaway. That way I can make at least one duelist happy on my videos, guys. So that's all I got for today. I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. I have a good chunk of videos planned out as well. And we'll guys catch you on the flip side. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a triple shuffle and all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancol40 for some awesome Vanguard content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.